I want to talk to you about a network society and the power of distributed technologies to introduce fundamental social change that is going to replace what we know today as the nation state. We are accustomed to exponential technologies bringing radical uh, new ideas in the world and implementing them in our daily lives. And it is incredible to see how the dreams that people had about social emancipation and personal empowerment thousands of years ago are now enabled in our technologically more advanced society. These technologies don't stop where they are. They are creating extremely powerful networks that are now introducing a phase change in our social organization. And the achievements that we have already conquered changed the world around us in the past 10,000 years, radically introducing what we call today with a new world, the Anthropocene, as a new geological era. This is unsustainable and we know it. Even if we understand that the practices of our industries are creating a world that cannot go on in its current path, uh, the bureaucracies that we have created are keeping everything as they are. We are no different from the dinosaurs unless we use the telescope of reason and science, understand what is going on, we are running the risk of becoming extinct. Science with observation, theory, implementation is designing the virtuous circle. We also recognize this in IT today as the virtuous circle of hardware, software, and design. Our hierarchical organizations that uh, we recognize both in society but also in our enterprises are being replaced by networks that are characterized as being distributed and decentralized. This is not only appearing in one sector, but all over in very different uh, segments and sides of our societies. Think about solar power. You can put uh, a solar panel on top of every house and become independent in terms of energy production if you couple it with batteries as well. 3D printing is overcoming the limitations of centralized manufacturing where huge capital expenses have to be justified by producing millions of useless gadgets that we throw away after the latest festivities. Food production is being revolutionized by hydroponic, indoor gardening, vertical farming. 3D printing of meat is going to radically reduce not only animal suffering, but also the use of resources. Personalized health is the true dream of preventative medicine coming through, rather than the illness industry that today we know as healthcare. Massive online open courseware is cutting at the roots of the hierarchical ivory tower approach of universities that are unable to uh, teach the skills needed for future jobs today. In finance, cryptocurrencies are eliminating the need for central authorities, not only banks, but the blockchain technology and the roots of this is in other industries as well. The trust-based networks are what now establishing relationships of empathy and understanding and participation in the sharing economy, achieving uh, efficiencies that cannot be matched by traditional police forces. Our policy making and our governance need to embrace <coughs> the same open and transparent principles driving this decentralization. So if we achieve this, and if you look at all of these forces, you realize that this change is actually unstoppable, rather than looking at them individually as a historical tendency. And you can understand, if you share and embrace this vision, that it is a toolbox to analyze whether government policy, enterprise, 
or your individual lives are lived in a way that is future-proof. So I want to invite you to come and be part of the movement creating the network society in a smooth transition towards the future by subscribing for your updates on maps of the Lord.